On the rural Gig Harbor Key Peninsula of Washington State, many children do not have access to three meals each day. School days make a difference for them, providing free reduced cost breakfast and lunch. The children who receive these services during the week often have little access to food on the weekends. Food Backpacks for Kids is a community effort to ensure that those who need food on the weekends have access to nutritious and easy to prepare food. The difference this makes is a more alert and eager to learn student Monday morning, a student who is less disruptive and who is able to focus on academics. And who benefits from this? Everyone in the classroom and the school. But the benefit doesn't stop there. A child who is well fed because of the generosity of neighbors looks to those neighbors with a sense of appreciation through the years. This child cares about you because you have cared about her, because someone cares enough to help during his family's tough time. Food Backpacks for Kids is an endeavor of the Peninsula Communities of Faith in partnership with Evergreen Elementary School. Food Backpacks for Kids expects to include Vaughn and Mentor Elementary Schools in 2010 and 2011 within our program scope, and more schools will be added as donations increase. Now, a word from the principal of Evergreen Elementary. Hi, my name's Jackie, and I'm the principal at Evergreen Elementary on the Key Peninsula. Um, it's a cute little school down at the very tip of the key that um, has been here for about 55 years. Um, I've been the principal for the last 10. I've seen a huge change in the demographics since I became principal here. Um, we started off with about 45% free and reduced lunch um, students. And now, um, within the last couple of years, especially since the economic um, turn, we have gone from 55% qualifying for a free and reduced to the 73%. And um, seeing more and more families who are looking for that extra assistance that they um, may not get anywhere else. And so it, it's mm -hmm. a good time for this program to get started. There are a lot of us who help out in the back with the backpack program here at Evergreen. Um, every Monday morning the kids come in and bring in their backpacks and then on Fridays we uh, pass out the full backpacks and the person who kind of helps us out the most is my office manager, Betty McCord. Hi Betty. Hi, I'm Betty. I take applicants from parents and then after the packs are delivered, I help organize them and then we distribute them and um, the kids are so excited. They all come as a huge group and it's chaos and we're handing them out and they're so happy to be getting this food and um, they take them back to the classroom. They take them home and they know the rules regarding backpacks and they follow the rules. They're just Wh so what are the thrilled. rules? You can't open them up <laughs> until you get home and you can't share the food with uh -huh. everyone else on the bus. So those are because the rules. that did happen. It did. Uh huh. It did. Yes. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about the parents uh, in the application process? Was that always easy and smooth? Well, <laughs> when we first started, it wasn't. And I had some reservations about how successful it would be just because it's not an easy thing to do to ask for that kind of help. Um, but our families needed it. And once the ball got rolling, the applicant applications came in, and once they, uh, um, other families saw how the program worked, saw their kids, other children bringing home food, it just, it just snowballed, and uh, um, it's amazing how many people have chosen to be a part of it. And we were so careful when we first started because we didn't want this stigma of the backpack kids, you know? Yeah, we so <laughs> there's no stigma. No, so. no, no. All the kids wanted a backpack to take home. Uh -huh. When we first started, we were so careful and called the kids down and gave them a backpack and it was all camouflaged and, you know, it didn't look like assistance. 
the kids went back to the class and announced that they got food to take home. <laughs> and then everybody wanted food to take home. So, yeah, it's been tremendous. Have you noticed a, 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 a difference in the classroom because of this? Or has it made a difference that you can see to these kids? That they're coming to school a little better fed? Well, you know, I think it, that's where it's the unknown thing that is happening here in, in the building, is that when we have healthy, happy kids, then we have learners. And that's where it transcends to our school, is that um, the help that is provided by the faith community, providing the backpacks, getting those, that food home so our kids are eating on the weekends, they're coming to us healthier and happier. And when you have healthy, happy kids, it, it just gets, it's just logical that they're ready to learn, they're ready mm -hmm. to participate. Um, they are uh, ready. And what a great assistance that is. I mean, the behavior is oh, different Oh, totally. Yeah, you know, you know, if you're if you're full, it mm -hmm. you're not um, thinking about those basic needs, and uh, what a blessing! It's it's really a good thing. 